Okay, I just got to the place where we're picking up our newest foster husky. Her name is Cinnamon. She's about one years old. She is a really cute. I think she's like red and white with blue eyes. And she came from a shelter down in Utah. And she is going to be staying with us until she finds her new adoptive family. That's pretty much all I know about her. There she is. What a cutie. Alright, let's go get your energy out. Uh, wrong way. Wrong way. Okay, bye dog. Alright, I don't really know if you can see her or me, but we got the new foster husky in the car. She is, she has like these icy blue eyes. I'll try to get a good shot of her later. Okay, we're at a stoplight. So I learned a little bit more about her background. So she was actually purchased as a puppy by this 80 year old couple that decided that they were, like she was way too crazy and energetic to be able to handle her understandable but then they actually took her to the shelter to be euthanized and the shelter uh, talked to them and they were able to contact us Arctic Rescue to be able to foster her so she didn't have to get put down because honestly she seems like such a great dog I don't think like I don't know if you're 80 years old if you can't handle a husky puppy no matter what age you are please just don't get one I am so grateful to the shelter people that were able to save her and not just put her down there she is. Look how pretty this girl is. Okay, we just got to the dog park and although I would never usually just bring a dog that I don't really know straight into the dog park, I feel like I know her temperament. Uh, the place she's been at for in the in-between kind of temp situation has uh, told me she's very dog friendly and this is a not busy dog park at all. It's kind of like a dead zone during the day. So let's go ahead and take her in. Come on, Tim. quick little update I have all three dogs in the same house together there's Leo and Graham back here and then cinnamon there she is we always try and take introductions slow this little guy here Leo gets very territorial and protective so he if he knows that a dog's gonna come in his, his house then he instantly hates them hi cinnamon oh off she's actually pretty smart watch this cinnamon sit yes cinnamon shake good girl good girl what a sweet girl I think she's gonna find her home so fast, guys. I think I've already said that three times, but I do. Anyway, I turned off the camera while I did those introductions just because I wanted to make sure that I was focused and paying attention to the dog since they're priority. But now that everything's kind of settled down, I'll start vlogging again. Oh boy, buddy. <laughs> These guys were so good. They got plenty of treats for being so good today. You guys were very sweet to meet her. I think they're gonna get along. In a few days, we'll probably start introducing them to each other and just gonna kind of see how it goes let them take it at their own pace but right now they're all doing fantastic by day two we felt comfortable enough to let Graham in around cinnamon we kept it short and just focused on them having a great positive interaction which they did awesome at and by day three all three dogs were able to play together in the backyard still focusing in short and always supervised play times we wanted to make sure they had positive experiences each time to start building their friendship All right, it's food time. We don't usually feed them this food, but I ran out and I forgot to get some because today was a crazy day. Thank you. Um, we need cinnamon's food though. So actually just kidding. Apparently Tyler already gave it to her. So cinnamon gets food that the rescue provides. So in case you didn't know, if you ever like foster a dog, they usually, at least my rescue provides everything. So that's her crate. I'll show you guys that in a second. Her food, her leash, her collar, anything the dog needs, it is all paid for, including like medical bills. Luckily cinnamon was already like up to date on shots and everything, but everything medically would still be covered. Uh, let me show you because we just actually moved. Okay, so here we have Leo in a wire crate, Graham in a wire crate, and then Cinnamon's in a high anxiety crate. They gave this to us, and I don't really know like how she would do in a wire crate. It's a little small, but we have an extra one back there. So once we get to know her a little bit more, hopefully she can transition into one of those because it'd be a little more comfortable. But happy dinner, guys. Here's non-doggo dinner made by Tyler, the chef. Well, Oh, great. It's time for the advent calendar. Come on down, dogs. Okay, ready? Grim, Grim, come. Everybody sit. Here's Grim, Grim. Leo, where's your sit? Okay, stay. 
Good girl. Okay. One for Cinnamon. One for Leo. And one for Graham Graham. Good dogs, guys. Good dogs. There's no more. There's no more. Good dogs. Alright guys, today is a big day. We have a lot to do today. The first thing we're going to do though is exhaust these little dogs. So, oh, look how cute in a row they are. Alright, so we have Cinnamon, Leo, and Graham all ready to go to the dog park. Cinnamon's got her little adopt me vest on and she's looking adorable. After that I have to do a brand shoot which is actually going to be really fun. We're going to get to drive up the mountains and set up like this cute little cozy car setup and everything. But first off we have to tire out the dogs so that way they don't go crazy while we're trying to do the photo shoot. Graham? Are you ready to go buddy? Can you give me a howl? Give me an ow! One. Two, three. All right, we have all the dogs in the car. We have, oh, I always want to say her name wrong. This cinnamon. I always want to say Willow. I always think Sarabi. <laughs> Sarabi is one of our previous <coughs> foster dogs. But so cinnamon sitting in the middle, and then Graham, Graham, and Leo are in the back. Hopefully one day they can all go in the back, but she always hops up to the front. Catch! Cinnamon, come. Hey guys. Oh wow. Guys, we met Milo. He is so cute. Hi, Cinnamon. Come here, bud. Oh, hi, buddy. Good boy. What's his at handle? Cinnamon, come here. Good girl. Good girl, Cinnamon. Bear, come here. Hi, good boy. Hi, good boy. Oh, you guys are so close, Bear. Perfect, buddy. Come here. All right, this is how the Christmas photos are going. We have Cinnamon over here, has no idea what training is. And then Leo and Graham Graham are just like, you just have to give in to her. One day she'll tire, and that's how it works. <laughs> All right, today Cinnamon's gonna meet two of her potential homes, and I need help deciding what she should wear. Now this will be too late, but I have a red bandana, green bandana, and a Christmas sweater. I think I'm going to say no on the Christmas sweater because her friends will probably, or she's meeting a couple dogs and they'll probably eat it if they start to play. This is what the green one looks like. That's kind of cute. Let's see the red one. Cinnamon, stay right there. Sit. I think I'm going to go with the green one. Hopefully you guys agree. Oh, what a cute pup. Good girl, Cinnamon, good girl. I mean, you guys are cute too, but you're not getting adopted. You already have your forever home, buddy. Okay, so Arctic Rescue approved both of these potential families that we're about to meet. They both have another dog, and we're just gonna go meet up with the family so they can get to know Cinnamon. They're gonna introduce them to their dog. We're picking a place that is kind of neutral to both dogs, so it's not at our house, not their house. It's just gonna be like a quiet, um, it's like a dog park. There's usually not a lot of people here. It's pretty small and low key, so I think it's gonna be a good spot so that dogs can kind of engage with each other, but also have their own space if they need like a little bit more space from each other. So that's where we're heading to meet family number one. Aw, she's so excited. I think this is one of like the two times I've ever seen anyone at this dog park other than me and my dogs. Good girl, you look so cute. Cinnamon was lucky enough to get lots of applications and got to meet two wonderful families that day that both adored her. It was so tough because we could only pick one, but we were so grateful that she got her Christmas wish and she now has a forever family with a new husky brother to show her just how awesome life is gonna be.